Hi guys, welcome to a beginner's pedal steel guitar lesson. Um, this is mainly focused on guitar players. I'm a guitar player myself and um, the pedal steel guitar can be a little overwhelming at first with 10 strings, um, the totally different tuning, pedals, knee levers, your raised notes, your lower notes, um, the bar, finger picks. It's, uh, it's complicated at first. Um, I'm showing uh, you the first uh, few basic major and minor chords and voicings uh, but seen from a guitar player's perspective. So I'm thinking of a guitar neck when I'm playing the basic major and minor chords. Um, I found that it helped me a lot uh, visualizing it like a guitar neck um, and finding the chords across the neck from a pedal steel guitar much easier. Right. So um, there's a few basics first. Um, obviously you need a pedal steel guitar um, you don't need a really big fancy one, a double neck with a lot of pedals or knee levers, uh, but a student version or a basic version will do. Um, I'm playing a, a WBS uh, basic version, so it's not too complicated. Um, for this lesson we'll uh, not be using any knee levers, we'll just be using the pedals. Uh, usually there's three pedals an A, B and C pedal which are used to raise certain notes. We'll focus primarily on the A and B pedal um, just to keep it quite basic and learn the uh, just a good foundation. Um, so you need the pedal steel guitar, you need some finger picks. Um, I use a plastic one, a Dunlop, my thumb and two metal ones from Dunlop from, for the middle and ring fingers you pick you pick with those you need a, a tone bar or a slide uh, it's different than a guitar slide because it's completely massive it has quite a big weight to it um, this is a Dunlop as well and you use that to slide across the strings um, furthermore you you don't really need it in the beginning but it's handy to have a volume pedal to do the do swells or uh, make it sustain a little bit better um, and you need a good tuner um, and a normal guitar tuner usually won't do because the uh, pedal steel, this is an uh, E9 tuning um, usually is tuned with a sweetened tuning so uh, it's altered a little bit compared to a guitar um, to make it sound in tune a little bit better um, I have a Peterson Strobo Stomp tuner uh, which is really good for pedal steel, it has a lot of uh, programmed tunings in it uh, so I'm just using the E9 sweetened tuner in that. In the first few years I used an app on my phone which had sweetened tunings as well um, but the uh, Peterson is just uh, it's unparalleled, it's really good. The uh, basic major chords um, when I'm playing major chords the, uh, it's handy to think of the guitar neck. Um, I'll briefly show you my guitar. And um, so, if I'm playing a G chord like that, a bar chord in the third position, on a pedal steel we go to the third position. So you see the uh, uh, the marks that are basically frets. Um, you go to the third position on a pedal steel. And uh, for now we're just playing the 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th strings. Right now I'm playing 6, 5 and 4. Um, the bar is in the 3rd position and if I don't push any pedals uh, and play the 6th, 5th and 4th strings I have a G major chord. If I move one string up to string 3, 4 and 5, it's also a G major chord, just a different version. So two different ways to play a G major. So it's easy to just slide across, not using any pedals. You can play G. So fifth position is A. B, C, 
ti e uh, and so on so that's quite easy uh, you just think of the guitar neck a bar chord uh, with the root on the sixth string on the E string so a G major chord um, then if you're on a guitar in the same position third position so this was our G um, if you're going to see in the third position, everybody knows this chord. Um, you're not changing positions, you're just changing your fingering. Um, that's the same on the pedal steel guitar, so this is our G. If we press our A and B pedals, you get your C. So on the pedal steel you are in the third position, same as guitar, you just press your A and B pedals and those same strings. It's a C chord, so from G to C, you just press your A and B pedals. So, this is a C chord as well, 8th position, no pedals, press your A and B pedals. It's F from D to G, from E to A, so um, this method gives you a lot of positions to play your normal major chords, um, so if you just play a, a 1, 4, 5 song in G, it's G to C. to D so just using the A and B pedal and visualizing it like a guitar so first position for your D with the A and B pedals uh, third position for your C with A and B pedals to G, no pedals. Or G to C to D and back to G. So that's pretty easy to play your standard major chords. Um, to uh, learn a basic minor chord, this was our G major, um, if we push the A and B pedals but move to string 5, 6 and 7 and push the A, B pedals, you get a minor chord. But uh, normally with the A and B pedals pushed like we did before, you get a major chord, so this is C, but if you stay in the same position with the A and B pedals and you play strings 5, 6 and 7, you get the relative minor, so the relative minor from C major is A minor, so third position, A and B pedals down, string 5, 6 and 7 is your A minor chord. If you let the pedals go, you get a G major. So, A minor, B minor, D minor, E minor, just the A and B pedals down, um, and it's the relative minor. Or you can just think, okay, A minor would be 5, 5th position on the guitar, just go 2 down on the steel. Uh, another way to play a minor chord um, is to push down the B and C pedals. Um, we're still in third position for the A minor chord, but with the B and C pedals down, 
you can play strings 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That's all A minor. So there's a lot of different voicings possible if you push down the B and C pedal. So without it, it will be G major. With the pedals, A minor. So, A minor, B minor, D minor, E minor, and so on. So that gives you um, a good foundation to start off on pedal steel without using the knee levers and all the other uh, complicated stuff. Just using about half of the strings um, and a few different guitar based voicings can get you uh, on the way pretty good in my opinion. Um, so if you want to play basic pedal steel or do some Neil Young style pedal steel stuff, um, this is a pretty good way to start off and you know I hope you enjoyed this lesson um, and I hope you will enjoy playing pedal steel guitar like I do thanks for watching and please check out my other videos bye bye